General Hospital's Baller T. Stock Collie Spencer will finally learn John Case and Jason were in secret. Collie was initially angry about Jason doing crazy on his own for two and a half years, but then Collie will go from angry to appreciative of Jason. Loving Jason again and going to bed with Jason was all Collie could think of doing. Before Collie decided to turn herself in, fans know that Jason has been working for John, or rather, at BI for a while now. John forced Jason to work as a mercenary in exchange for Collie not being detained for a recall violation. The 20 years sentence was too much for Collie, Jason thought, and Jason chose to trade. Jason was forced to make a deal with John. But in reality, Jason also did this voluntarily. Jason loved Collie. They were almost an official couple if Sonny's Carento hadn't unexpectedly returned. Jason does everything for Collie by ignoring his family, of course. Now Jason is suspected of being the mysterious attacker. Jason forgave unjustly and endured unjust charges to save Collie. Rather than seeing Collie go to prison after the FBI arrive, Collie recently wondered about the secret Jason was hiding. But Jason wouldn't open his mouth to tell the truth. Collie will want to fight L. All of this herself, but Kali has no investigative experience and will fail. Lucky for Kali, because soon someone will attack John on the street. At that time, Kali was sitting in Kali's car and Kali was on her way somewhere. Kali accidentally saw John being attacked. Kali screamed loudly, causing the attacker to run away. Kali accidentally saved John's life. Collie was transferred John to the hospital immediately. Even though John is injured and the wound may bleed profusely, John will not die. John will recover shortly and return to being an FBI agent like before. When John is on his deathbed, John will want to repay Collie by expunging Collie's recall violation. John decides to tell Collie the whole truth, including how much Jason has suffered all this time to keep Collie out of prison. Collie was surprised by that. Of course, Collie was angry because John had blackmailed Jason. Collie is also angry that Jason chose to help Collie in secret. John said sorry, then John also mentioned that Collie would definitely go to jail, but the time will be shorter and with another crime. John admits that John is the one taking on Collie's case. John can clear Collie of her recall violation by creating another disturbance that means John's superior would definitely be suspicious if Collie is completely innocent. John admitted that he was reluctant to send Collie to prison for a few months. John hopes Collie will cooperate to pull off this drama in front of John's superiors. Collie agreed. Then Collie went to Jason and told Jason everything Collie knew. Jason would admit everything. Holly is angry, but will like to appreciate that Jason did. Holly will repay Jason by starting an official love relationship with Jason. Holly argued that Holly and Jason have missed each other so many times. Holly doesn't want that to happen again. Holly eventually decided to cherish the few weeks she could spend with Jason before Holly's carry out. John's plan to turn herself in. Collie's goes to bed with Jason and promises to reunite with Jason soon after several months of separation. With what John has said and conform, 
Kali will actually only spend a few months in jail. 